Alright, here's my second video. Um, this is some of the features and the way the uh, Baldwin player piano works. It's an upright player piano, as you can see. I'm going to scroll out. That's the best I can kind of show you. I'm on a roller chair here. Um, like I said, it was built in the late 40s from all the research I could uh, find. I'm going to do my best and probably one last short video to show all the numbers I was able to pull off the piano. And the best I was able to do was piece it that it was built in the 40s and it's a Baldwin. Thank God not a knockoff of a Baldwin. I, uh, I saw on a recent television program that someone had a Baldwin knockoff that you get you find in a Sears catalog and thought it was worth a heck of a lot of money and they said, well, no, not really because it's the poor man's Baldwin. Uh, as, as you can see, uh, pure ivory keys. And they're in... They are in good condition. All I need to do is give them a good cleaning and they'll sparkle because I've cleaned them before. And here is your uh, tempo monitor. Um, this, uh, this was in the uh, 70s, or late 70s, early 80s. This was completely overhauled by my grandmother. She found a player piano specialist in Palisades Park, New Jersey, who really knew his stuff, and especially Baldwin player pianos. And she had it completely overhauled head to toe and uh, knock wood, knock keys, knock ivory, that uh, there never have been any issues with it. It's really a great unit, really a great unit. Here's your uh, tempo indicator. It goes from all the way uh, tempo 10 to uh, 130. We have, I can't really see it from here without the proper glasses, but uh, I believe it to be Italian for all the speeds, maybe even Latin. I don't know. I'm not that good. Um, this uh, is uh, your rewind. If I had it on, it would rewind, and then once it reaches the end, it will automatically start, automatically start playing. As you can see, you heard me. You heard that in an earlier video, I don't think you really want to hear it again. And this, the, uh, the paper's in great shape and there's no rips in between the uh, perforations, so it, the sound always sounds great. We have, uh, we have in our collection approximately about uh, 75 to 100 rolls. Um, over here, it's hard to tell, but is your uh, loud pedal operation. I have it in the on position because I kind of like it loud and you can just switch it up and it won't always have the loud pedal down. Uh, this is the, uh, i probably not pronouncing it correctly, please someone correct me. Uh, this is the uh, welter. It uh, is in normal or you could have it soft. And it just gives you that selection. There's also replay which I have on now which is really cool if you happen to like uh, ever since I was a child my favorite role is Candyman and uh, you just switch it up to turn off uh, replay which I'll do and show you the rewind process and how it automatically stops it's pretty intelligent for its time and uh, up again here welter whatever W-E-L-T-E, -E, welt, I'm pretty bad at this, I have that off, um, there is, let me rewind the roll real quick, and, uh, it's gonna start playing, sorry guys. There, roll, QRS roll is fully rewound. And in here, it's probably real hard to see, is, uh, it says Welt Mingen License, W-E-L-T-E, um, 
dash M I N G O N license. So I guess they manufactured this part that uh the part that reads the uh the uh piano roll. And this is the take up roll, it's really in great condition. Um these uh these keys, although they'll pop up, are no longer functional because I believe for some reason I believe that it was uh turned motorized when it was redone, but it, it was probably always motorized. I I really don't know. Uh my grandmother's deceased and she really knew a lot about it. I tried to learn as much as possible. And these all fold away. This folds down. Uh, I'm going to do one more video. I'll show you the guts and I'll uh I'll show you it working. It uses bellows to work, but uh I'm sure this is an extremely boring video, but I hope some people find it interesting. And please, if you know anything more about this, especially in my uh, uh, next video that I'm going to put on with all the information I was able to gather off this piano, um, please uh, try and help me figure out more of its history because I don't have much. All right, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy. See ya.